Naughty Nicola. Call me Cara. <laughs> Latex Lauren. Legs open Lisa. <laughs> See me now. <laughs> Hello everyone. Right, let's not just look at the mess around us because I'm fully aware this is a mess. Right, we need to zoom out because you need to see all the absolute shite I'm covered in right now. This is planning a hen do. So, it's my friend Nikki's hen do, which Nikki is a friend that I met at uni, well not even at uni, I went through a break up, when was it, 2015. And I extended my contract and she, she put her contract forward in the house that I'm moving out on. And then we met and then we've been a very, very best friend since. But yeah, so it's her hen do on Friday. So we're going to Brighton. So she always wanted to go Brighton because that's where she got engaged. So she was like, right, Megan. So I'm maid of honour, if you haven't noticed. She was like, right, Megan, we can go anywhere, but I would really like to go to Brighton because um, that's where I got engaged. So I was like, right, okay. We'll go there. I've never been on a night out in Brighton. I've been there for the day. But I was like, right, I can figure this out. Where to go in Brighton, I don't know. But I asked people on Instagram and they helped me out, thank God. Because we'd be at bloody Weatherspoons if it was just for me. But I thought, let's go through what I've bought, where I got it from. Little things that I've done that you, if you're planning ahead do, it can help you. Because I'm currently, the thing is, I get a lot of stuff in my head and I'm like, right, let's do this, let's do this. And then I can't settle until it's done. And it, I go a bit OTT when it comes to like bits. And th that's what's happened here. So I've got a lot of prep to do when we get actually into the house. In, so we've got a big, God. So we've got a big house in Brighton, an Airbnb. Nikki, you shouldn't be watching this. It should be out after, but you'll understand what happened. So we've got a big house. It, from Airbnb and it was like, the thing is, Brighton's not cheap, you know, for houses. But when I was looking at all the Hindu houses, they were like extortionate. So I had a look on Airbnb and there was one which is on Preston Road, which isn't far from the station, for, how much did we pay? Like £1,000 for the night? Was it? £1,100. Anyway, it was about £100 each and there was nine of us. Well, that could be right, can it? Anyway, it was about that. It was cheaper than the other ones. The other ones were quote me like four grand and I was like I'm not paying four grand just for a house this is mental so that was the cheapest one so I found it through Airbnb and it's like an eight rooms but it's 12 beds massive like townhouse so I want to decorate that because it's really nice to have somewhere to go back to so that's that but the plan of the day is we go on Friday we're gonna have a little pamper night on Friday night so I'll go through this right and then I'll show you what I got for a for the pamper night, okay? This makes more sense. So, for the pamper night, she gets there, so we are driving, we'll probably get there about nine o'clock. So all it is literally gonna be is going to sleep and waking up and getting ready for the day of fun that is on the Saturday. So, I got these boxes from work, from Paper Chase, in the sample store, but I do think they still sell them, but they're like this marbled thing. So the whole thing, I thought, right, she is, this is Nikki. This is Nikki. <laughs> She's got long blue hair and she looks like a mermaid. So I thought, right, let's make it celestial mermaid theme because she loves anything witchy, stars, all that. She loves all that shebang. So I thought, right, let's get a theme going around here. So I thought, right, let's stick with the purple and like the turquoise theme because then it matches her. So I thought, right, a nice little thing to start when she gets there on the bed is to do our, like a little box where it's like an introduction. So I've got a little card, so I've printed these off. I've got a printer, but it's only black and white ink. And you see this paper? So I found this paper and I just put it in the printer and put it as an A5. And I can do like little personalised. Do you know how you do these? So I've just wrote like, welcome to your hen weekend. This is your home for the next few days. So I've got five of these because she doesn't know what's going on and I thought it's really nice to open something very PSA I love you to open something and then she can like be surprised with something to remember do you know what I mean like these little nice touches and it comes with these envelopes these were also from Peter Chase it was like a rent writing set I bought but it's all like 
coming together. That's what I'm thinking. I like all the little extra bits to all burn and like surprises. So this is going to be in here for when she first turns up. And then I've got these cute little socks, right? So she's just, if I explain this, you're going to think, is this girl having a breakdown? She just had a baby, right? She's going to get married on the 1st of December. She's just had a baby a month, not even that, six weeks ago. And they've just bought a house as well. So she's doing everything in one year and she's a nutcase and she's having a hen do. I'm overwhelmed being a friend, so how she's feeling, I don't know. So anyway, I've got these cute little socks. How cute are them? I made a good kid, and look how cute the pattern is, because she's full of tattoos, and they're very tattoo-esque. But this is from a brand called Blue Q Socks. And I got it from me on one of them like, cute little shops. I got it in Farringdon, but you can probably find them online. Dot Bears Without Borders, apparently it's called. But how cute, that's one little thing. And then... Look at this. I've got some PGs. They were meant to be champagne colour, but the woman sent the wrong ones out and I couldn't bother to send them back. So, little PJ shorts, and it's got. Can you see that? Oh, the wrong one. <laughs> Miss Ashley on them. Because that's what her name's going to be from Simpson to Miss Ashley. And then it's got. God, I'm messing all this up. And then it's like a little. Um, short sleeve with bride on it but I'll put the link below because it's, it was quite cheap I think it was like 20, 22 pound and that was with something about that, like that I wouldn't have spent more than that some bits like veils and stuff from Sheen Shine Sheen I don't know how you say it but that's how I say it and I've got two boxes so this is the day and then this is for the night so the night time we're going out out and this is the day and time one so I thought let's give her two veils like a more casual one and a more mental one so yet again a little note and it's got like this one sealed and this one just says like these are your bits for the day and then i got these little glasses little hard glasses from um ebay they were like five pounds which i thought are cute for pics you know bright to be and then i got this smaller veil look and it's got a little bow how cute is that Got a smaller veil from Sheen as well, and I think this was literally like three quid. But you can choose to wear this one or the other one in the night time, but I just thought that was really cute, like, or through the day. So, I got these, right. Sheen has been really good for decorative stuff. Like, I got these curtains. Because look, you see, it's coming together. This is our hair colour, so this is what the colours are. I thought this was bigger, this thing. So this is like a little shimmery wall. But if you wanted a big backdrop, you could get a couple of them. But I didn't realise how small that was. I think they were like £2.50. But that could be nice, like, just to put something in front of it, couldn't it? Um, so we're going to do these for a wall behind. And then I got this on eBay. You can't really see what it is. It's like a balloon arch kit, but it's um, a mermaid theme one. So we'll see what they're like. I'll put a picture here, Megan, of what it looks like up. But this was about, I've made a, I made a balloon arch before and it was actually quite easy to do and quite cheap. And I think this was seven quid. And it's got like a mermaid tail and stuff and like star balloons and things all in this little pack. And this was from eBay and I thought, I'm just going to tap it myself because I did it once, I can do it again. Because it costs a fortune when you really get someone in to do it. And then I've got these cute... Little, um, wait, they are open this. Shouldn't really be opening anything because putting them up is going to be an absolute nightmare. Oh no, oh no. So, look, look how cute that is. These were like £1.50. These are like, I'm going to put them like around the room. So, we're just going into like a little mythical. I don't know. I'm hoping it's all going to be fine. I'm not going to rip the wallpaper off this place, but. But like I said, we went OTT, so I've got three of them. Three of them. And they can just be like down and just bringing it all together. And then, right, is that all I've got? The decorations. I think so. I think that's all I've got for the decorations. I am missing something. I bought like, you know, one of them picture things where it's got like bright to be and you put all the pictures in it because I've bloody printed the pictures off honestly no I need to show you this picture look how funny this is 
I asked him, I asked her boyfriend to send me some funny pictures and look at that picture. She looks like Liz Truss. <laughs> but yeah, but I want to put some pictures all over the place of like good memories of all of us. So I thought, get some printed. But I wanted to put in that bunting thing, but I had to reorder it because I lost it. It's my fault. It's very annoying. Oh yeah. And then I've got lots of these. I can't really get this out. So this is a balloon with tassels. A massive balloon. I've also got a bright to be one somewhere as well. And they were from Paper Chase. So Paper Chase do do them also. That's all them. God, this has actually helped me going through all this because I actually don't know what I've got here. What's this one? Oh, and then we've got a love as well. I don't know where I'm going to put it all. Maybe like throughout this massive house. Okay, cool. That is for the insides. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's this one? Oh, and I got a little heart, little heart bunting as well. That was also from Sheen. So that's the bunting situation. And all them, right? Let's put these away because this is actually going to be untidy. And that's going to be like a nice photograph backdrop. That's what I'm planning on anyway. And then to go for the photo opportunities, I printed that. I'm very proud of this. So look at these. I didn't want to pay, right? I, I really try to avoid paying stuff that doesn't need to be paid for. Like, I just I don't want to pay. I just want to print something off and put a stick on it. So I was like, I can do it. I've got a printer at work. I can do this. But then I didn't have any card at work, so I laminated these. So instead of just having Sam, the boyfriend, I thought, why not? Let's get the baby. So baby Ollie, I printed. I just need to put sticks on these because I've got sticks here. And then we've got a little Nick. We've got a Sam also looking a bit different. So we've got old looking Sam and young looking Sam. And then I've also got a young picture of Nikki. So we've all got different ones. That's what I thought was quite nice because then we can like give it family ensemble. So right, that's what I need to do today. Because I've got these sticks from like a wax kit. So I thought, right, I can stick that on. Sell it to you, buzzing. So that's for the picks. And then also, I've got these affordable props. So, very important bride. Like all that, the bits. I got this quite a lot of this free from work because we had a sample film recently. But you can get these sort of things anywhere, really, can't you? Okay, so that's the props. And then also, I've got like these little bride to be glasses. And also, look at this. This is from work. I don't, I don't a chicken. And it's got a chicken tail. You just understand? I think I've went a bit OTT. There's not enough people. There's nine people. And I bought dressing up stuff for about a, far, a party of a hundred. Right. That's another thing to put on the table for people to get dressed up in. And then for the table. Look how cute these are. How oh, is the other one? For the table, like, just as decoration. Look at this bride and groom. Little alpacas. How cute is that? But they're also from Peter G's. And you can get these, I think, still. Yeah. Love the love that. She'll love that as well. And then... Right, okay. So, for the evening. Here we go. For the evening, in our big box, I got this bunch of flowers. <laughs> This was better online, this is one thing I am disappointed in, but just getting it anyway because it's I paid for it. So I thought let's get a bunch of flowers so she can be like, oh, bright. Alright, and then I got these are all from Sheen by the way, this in this box. I've got this bright to be crown. Can you see that? Bright to be crown. And then I've got a, a bit more of an extravagant veil. Like look how pretty that is. Like you could actually wear this for your wedding. But you see, it's got like a trim on the bottom. So I thought you could wear that with the crown. Do you know what I mean? On top. Because she's wearing a big Ariana Grande type tutu dress. The big white one, which I'm absolutely buzzing about. But yes. So that's that one. And then also I've got these little pretty badges. Like bride to be. And I've got some for the bridesmaids and um, mother of the bride and stuff like that as well. So that goes in there. Sorry. God, there's big flowers. And then, so that's her little box. But then also, 
I've got these. Oh no, I've got another funny thing as well. Now. This is also going to be in her box. Look, look at this. I got I got this on eBay. How funny is that? It's a Willy. But then you get it out of the pack with you. It's a, it's a willy bottle because we haven't got any more willies and that I didn't and his mum's Sam's mum's coming so I was like I don't want to be too vulgar but I love that she's definitely drinking out of that all night so that's going in her box but then also so I will need so I'm going to do a game I'm doing Mr and Mrs and I've got Sam's mum to record him doing the questions and then Nikki's going to do the questions back and if she gets it wrong She's got a drink, but if she gets it right and it's a match, we've got a drink. So I thought, right, let's get everyone their own shot glass, because you know how messy it gets, and everyone's like, where's mine? So I thought I found this on eBay, and I thought maybe a bit of quality, because it's personalised, but it's just this little penis cup. But um, it's got, like, your name on it. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, God. Right, it says... Nicola, Nick's Hindu. So it's got everyone's name on, and then it says Nick's Hindu on the bottom. So everyone's got their own shop glass, but the woman did forget to send us one, so I'm currently hoping it comes tomorrow, because otherwise we're missing one. So that's one thing everyone's got to keep on them, because I think it just saves everyone like, like, where's mine, where's mine? Okay, cool. And then, right, God. Do you see, I've got a headache even talking about this, because it's consuming me life. For the table, so I'm going to set the table, we're having a nice meal, we're having like an Italian before we talk drinking and stuff and when we like, everyone comes down dressed up, so we're all wearing black, she's wearing white, and to come down when she first gets surprised, we have got a blue wig, right, I can't really show you this, I'm going to have to put a picture here because I don't want to, I did take one out and it got all messy and now that's mine, I don't want to get it any messier. So these were from Sheen. I think I paid £12 each for these because obviously she's got blue hair so it makes sense to all have blue wigs and surprise her. So we've got blue wigs and that's when she's going to be surprised and we're like, happy Hindu when everyone's dressed up. But for the table, I thought, right, let's um, have like a table seating plan so everyone knows where to sit and all their little bags and stuff are there. So I did these, so I went for this like, um, this font where it's like witchy. You see, it's like a witchy font. So um, I thought, right, let's do funny little place names. So I've got Muff Died on Megan, Blowjob Becky. I just think it makes it a bit funner, a bit more like personalised. Luby Lauren, Naughty Nicola, Cummy Cara, <laughs> Latex Lauren, Legs Open Lisa, Saucy Sheen, Shins, I should call Shanice, but. I don't really know what her nickname is until yet. And then Jizzy Jen. So that's the place names. We've got a Jizzy. People have like little gift bags for the table. And it's got little like memorabilia things in there. And like everyone just feels special. So for the bridesmaids, I've got these little bridesmaid crown things from Sheen as well. And these were like £1.50. But look how cute that is. Um, and it just makes everyone feel a bit special, like they've got a roll. But then also I've got like a little crown in there, which you twist. And everyone's got their shot glass. Also in there. And I'm also going to cut up some paracetamol, like cut up the sachet. So everyone's got one in there for like the hangover. I thought that'd be quite a nice little touch. But then also I had this pack of um, badges from Paper Chase. And it's got like bridesmaid or we've got... Um, I don't know here. There's so much stuff on the sample set. We've got Mother the Groom. So she's coming. So yeah. So everyone's got a little one of them with their name tag. And that's where like, their food's going to come. But yeah. That's what we have so far. Right, that one's mine. And then I also got some Team Bride straws. And then I've got this, look how cool this is. This is a bride, a bride straw. I got this on Etsy. How cool is that? Imagine. Oh, bride. Yeah, I love that. This is such a cool little thing. So that's also for the bride. Um, I think 
is that it? Okay, so then, for the games, I've seen everyone talk about this game, which is called Twerk Pong. And it's meant, like, you get, do you see this? You get, like, two little bag things. You get, like, a little box, and it comes with a little belt. And then you've got to twerk, so you get all your balls out first. I got this on Amazon, and this was, like, 12 quid. But I thought that's a really fun little game to get everyone, like, livened up and stuff. And then I also got, where is it? Oh my gosh, there's just so much, this is what I need to sort to do, it's stressing me out. Um, where is this? Yes, I got this, which is, oh, I'm sorry, the mask as well. So these are, is that game, the stick the willy, stick the willy on the man. I'm thinking we can pop Sam's head on there. I need to print off a little pic of Sam's head and stick that there. I mean, I'll have to do a black and white because I'm, I haven't got the colour printer. But yeah, I'm going to put a picture of him and then you've got to stick the willy on there. Which I thought would also be a good little game. But um, that was on Amazon as well and I think this was about four quid. It's a paper really, isn't it? So that's a good little game as well, as long as with... Um, Mr and Mrs just to get everyone in the hen mood but yeah I think that's about it that I've got to show you and then obviously we're just going to go out after that and I've been taught to go to the Bohemia and then I'm going to go to the Mesmerist as well Bohemia is more like a cocktail bar I think I've never been and then the Mesmerist is more like track, like dancing live music that sort of thing and then I also really want to go to um it's this massive gay bar and it looks unreal like anyone that's last in the latest I think that's where we'll probably end up going I can't remember what it's called oh, it's like fever or something it's called something like that but yeah rumor oh, I don't know anyway so that's where we're going after but yeah this is all the plastic shite that I bought but I just can't stop thinking about what else I could do like little touches but this is it. Oh, I also, I need to show, to show you this. This is the leather jacket. Oh, it just didn't go as well as I thought it would. So, it says Miss Ashley. So that's what she's going to be. But then, let's see what it would look like on. This is definitely not going to fit me. Oh God, look. Ooh. But it's all hanging off. Because I need more glue. But yeah, I've got this. I got this. I don't know whether I give her it or not. Um, just for a pick, isn't it? It's just a nice pick moment, but it just, nothing was sticking to the friggin' leather, man. And then I was like, I got like the paint pens and that wouldn't stick. And I was thinking, fucking hell, what is going on? So this is what we're currently stuck with. I just don't know whether to give it. <laughs> oh God, but yeah, this is another thing. That I got, which maybe I will, because it is a nice, it would be a nice pick. I got the, the, this, I got the bloody glitter stuff from eBay, and that just cut it out, and I stuck it on with Gorilla Glue. <laughs> oh, I give up, honestly, my head, when I think about this, like, look, you see, this is what I'm going to put it all in there, and this is broken, so... God help me, and I still need to figure out what I'm wearing, but um, yeah, so that is me Hindu prep so far. But also, I've got some um, there's a website called Chili Sauce, and they're really good, you know, if you're really struggling to um plan a bridesmaid, a Hindu, they're really good because they plan it all for you, like they give you loads of options, then you choose, but they also take everyone's payments for you as well because I know it can be a bit of a nightmare, like chasing people for money, then comes out of your bank so they're quite good because the, the people just got to pay them otherwise they just lose their spot and it's like nothing to do with you and you're not out of pocket so they're really good but um majority i just asked on bloody on instagram i'm lucky i've got yeah that is everything i know it's a bit long but i had a lot of shite to get through but yeah the next video will hopefully be the hindu video and it'll be really exciting and you can see all of it come together and let's hope that this blue notch works. But if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Nice. 
please hit the subscribe button and like this video because it makes a lot of difference when you give it a little like and not a little view. But anyway, it was lovely to see you and good luck on the planning because it's a lot of stress.